Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library, and today um, I've been seeing monarchs all over, and this is usually when I do my Monarch Madness month here at the library. So we're going to do a few activities, and I'm going to highlight a whole bunch of books. These are a whole bunch of wonderful nonfiction, um, and then we're going to do a craft. And these are just a few of my uh, fiction books. So, classic, Very, Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Ten Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. and Lois L. Hart, illustrated super book. One of my favorite butterfly read-alouds is Farfalina and Marcel by Holly Keller. It is a classic friendship and um, change story. This is a new one, The Very Impatient Caterpillar by by Ross Barak. It's super silly. Uh, this one by Eve Bunting, Butterfly House. Beautifully done. Uh, this nonfiction, Monarch Butterflies, Mysterious Travelers by Bianca Lavis. Uh, this one, A Monarch Butterfly's Journey by Suzanne Slade and illustrated by Susan Sw Suzanne Swan. Beautiful. This one, Where Butterflies Grow by Joanne Ryder and pictures by Lynn Cherry. So many wonderful books. Uh, An Extraordinary Life, uh, The Story of a Monarch Butterfly by Lawrence Pringle and Paintings by Bob Martisol. Beautifully done inside. Um, uh, when Butterflies Cross the Sky, Monarch Butterfly Migration by Sharon Katz Cooper and illustrated by Joshua uh, Brunette. Waiting for Wings by Lois Elhart. The Monarch Saving Our Most Loved Butterfly by Kylie Bommel. Bommel. Uh, Handle with Care, An Unusual Butterfly Journey, Lori Griffin Burns, and photographs by Ellen uh, Harris-Simowitz. Beautiful photographs. A Place for Butterflies. See, I told you there were tons. Um, uh, written by Melissa Stewart and illustrated by Higgins Bond. And Airplanes in the Garden. Monarch Butterflies Take Flight by Joanne Z. Calder and illustrated by Kathy Quile. And uh, another favorite is Velma Gratch and the Way Cool Butterfly, uh, which is out currently. So today we are going to, I'm going to show you how or give you suggestions on how to make these beautiful, um, these beautiful butterfly dangles so that you can decorate your own space with monarch butterflies. And they are just butterflies on a string and they are all different um, lengths of yarn. And what I did, so simple. So you could draw your own butterflies and cut them out, or you could print some butterflies offline. So I just printed, I just picked a beautiful butterfly clip art and I photocopied it in color. And I am, um, I have two copies. So what I'm gonna do is just really quickly cut them out like that. So I just really quickly cut them out. And then I'm just gonna show you uh, just a couple because you'll get the idea. So I'm just cutting them out. You don't. You can even leave uh, a little white around the outside if you want. Uh, you can do different size butterflies. Um, I'm not worrying about uh, cutting out the antenna. I just snip them right off. Okay. All right. So 
I have two butterflies cut out and then I have a piece of string or yarn. Okay. So, and, and then I have, and I have some tape and you could do this with a glue stick too. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a tape roll. I'm going to put that in the middle. I'm going to put my yarn in the center like that. Okay. So you can see, and then I'm going to put my other butterfly right on top. And that way, when it spins around, you have the butterfly, the whole butterfly. So it doesn't matter. So I did the same thing on these great, um, these great dangles. They do get tangled up, um, but you can see this is fabulous. So here we are and they spin around and the butterflies go. So this is such a beautiful way to decorate. Uh, you could hang a bunch of them in front of your window. Um, I don't know, if you laminated them, you may even be able to like hang some outside and uh, like in the trees or near um, some milkweed and maybe it will attract other milk monarchs. Who knows? But the monarchs are flying about. This will be the last generation of monarchs, the fourth, and then they're going to fly south to Mexico or Florida or California um, and will winter over, lay their eggs after they mate, and then the whole cycle of the monarch migration will start again. Hugs to you all. Happy, happy day. Happy Monday. Happy Monarch Madness Month. Hugs. Miss Amy. And check out some of those wonderful books. Tons and tons and tons and tons. So, hugs. Miss Amy.